breakup. I'll be in 10 minutes, you just wait at our spot, and the line went dead. All Rashi could interpret was a blunt, discouraging piece of hostile phrase. Out of all the most romantic and fanciful evenings they had spent at the same place, this one seemed to be amiss and Rashi could just feel the rawness in the air. Even though the climate seemed completely acknowledgeable, her instincts strongly suggested there's a cyclone showing up and not just another romantic chilly drizzle. It's even before the expected time, Shrey had showed up. The usual confab was carried for a good two minutes and Rashi could clearly sense something was really wrong or at the least not so correct. Shrey was not behaving like, her Shrey, who she usually called him. She gave a thumbs up to her so-called instincts and made up her mind to get him clarified. Even before she could open her already trembling lips, Shrey started to spit out. I'm on a purpose to meet you this evening Rashi. Rashi was stupefied to hear her name called out in such a hoarse way. It was always a darling or at least a sweetheart following her name but this sounded too gravelly than he had intended to. All she could do was putting up a frown over her discolored face and mutter a, huh. The sky was equally cheesed off to drape itself with the thick dark clouds and was ready to push them off its fringe in any moment. Rashi, this really is an important matter, and you must understand what I'm going to say. Just shoot out Shrey, whatever it is, was the retorted reply from her half-lost-in-thought heart. Rashi this thing can't be happening anymore, we have to give up. We what? She said that but it was almost a whisper which she herself couldn't hear. A million things were going in her head right then, but she was not getting on what thought she had to land on. Yes, I can't do this Rashi. I just don't think it would work out for both of us. Slowly she began to understand what he's exactly trying to say. Everything was falling in place correctly. He, making up arguments for every minuscule discussion, always asking her to give up. He not being the same, he, since the past few days. But Rashi just convinced herself every time, thinking everything could set itself right, the very next moment. But it became irreparable by the time she realized the factual truth that he was building up a barrier between them. Which was stronger than the love she has developed within for him, only making the wall highly impassable. Rashi still wasn't sure what the inner sense for his words was. She managed to say, Shrey please be direct to me, just don't make it difficult. Shrey, understanding her mental position, moved a step away and slowly put out the the deadly truth. Rashi I'm not in love with you anymore, and I don't want to cheat myself and indirectly cheat. You thinking it's still the same thing. So let's end it here. The world around was breaking itself into a million pieces and each one was piercing her heart in every hidden corner possible. The pain was so excruciating that she rather wanted her breath to give away, than undergoing it. She was trying terribly hard to get in charge of herself. Trying to compose herself but the hurt was too deep that it could take a zillion lives to completely get cured. This was the cyclone she realized, was not the one to do anything with the nature but with her own disintegrating life. The expected downpour started its show, teasing her that it was not her evening anymore like the earlier ones. Every other thing around started to drench just like her, but the irony was. She also had turned out to be a lifeless being just like the immovable benches and the rugged road beneath, on realizing the fact. I'm really sorry Rashi but this is the truth. He was equally doused by the violent rain. He caught her arm and started to run for a shelter around. But Rashi just snapped it out and suddenly became vigorous outwardly, veiling the inner wound of her broken heart, which was becoming more sore. You are breaking up with me Shrey, was her poser, which was outputted louder than necessary. Shrey not knowing what to say next just gave out a sigh and said, yes Rashi, that is it. That is it Shrey? You are calling it a thing. Whatever happened with me was just a thing to you. Doesn't it mean anything better? 
Shrey was silently building up a strong disdainful feeling inside, not liking the way Rashi has reposted. Do I get to know why Shrey? Am I at least that respectful to know the reason behind ending this so-called thing? She was throwing out her hands in the air, the frustration reaching its peaks. Reason? Isn't the fact that I don't want to be with you anymore enough to end this? It was like he slapping her hard on the face, only the pain being felt, but no such scene was happening. Her body started to quiver and her legs were no longer supportive. The rain accelerated itself, making the contrast and was hitting her hard with all the possible force. But the pain was far less than the one sustained by his words. She just shut herself up, losing every little hint of hope that got rebuilt in the last few minutes. Rashi had left her world for Shrey, her world. She compromised in every little thing she could from her complete hateful things to her most favorite everything. Only for Shrey, only for making him love her like the way she loved him. Her only obsession was Shrey and he was the redefined world to her. Nothing in her life was more important than him, even her mere self. She had a life which just revolved around him and she wanted the same with him too. But the fate laid a different path for her. She wanted to yell at him saying this is not just a thing, as he called it, but a truly experienced love. She wanted to ask him what the actual reason was and what wrong she had done to experience such a remorseful rejection. She just wanted to hug him tight and say she loves him more than what he thinks and to erase the past few minutes from her life. But she did none. Not after hearing those scornful words from him. Not after perceiving that he had decided to go away, leaving her behind like a piece of crap. Instead the rage inside her was building like hot lava, only not knowing in which manner to burst out. I know it could have ended in a better way but, it has to end Rashi. So you realize the fact and just move on. He was bleak. Each and every word he spoke was like a weapon aiming directly at her heart and thereby destroying her completely inside out. She completely got worn out and let the silence play its role in the almost one game of his. He was becoming very impatient and finally spat his final words of the play. Rashi please understand, I. No, she was shouting this time, lying on her calves on the ground. He made an attempt to bring her up but she just snapped out. Just go away, dot now. And never come back, was her final response to his heartless words that evening. Shrey who had failed to last the love of her that night had also become hard-hearted and cold-blooded. He didn't want to utter another word in order to give her any kind of explanation. He just stood there not knowing how to react exactly. The purpose he had put himself to that evening, was fulfilled then. He just wanted to tell her he was dumping her and he did. He didn't want to find a reason to stay there anymore. He just turned away showing his back. Waited for a few seconds and began to walk, not bothering to even give a glance back at her. She watched him go away, away from her heart, away from her life. The love of her life, the life she had designed to be with was just going away. The treasure of her life's happiness was being stolen away by the creator himself. She only had one perception of love in her life till then, love means forever. But the presumptions have ought to be changed that night. She, who once felt pitiful for those who lost the war of love, was even more pathetic now. Putting herself in that place. The outburst, which had been competing with nature till then had given up finally and began to come out of her in the most uncontrollable form. Finally, she cried, letting the rain wash away her pain.